welcome welcome thank you so much for joining us again in this youtube channel good morning good afternoon and good evening wherever you are in the world thank you so much for joining us again welcome the headline of the news today yoruba nation our ganyu adams revealed this discussion with professor banji akintoye and sunday igoho okay so before we dive into the details of the news please don't forget to like this video channel and for those who have not subscribed please click on the red button and subscribe to get more of this juicy news so let's dive into the news now the details of the news our Ona kanka four of yoruba land iba ganyu adams on an interview with david hamilton on yoruba nation so the area on Nakonkofo came out and had an interview live video with a man called David Almiton. So people have been trying to call out to the to Ganyu Adams that he has been quiet, that he's supposed to be, you know, the defender of the people, but he has been quiet. That has the government paid him to keep quiet, so he has come out boldly. So I'll just paraphrase everything he said. So he asked the question, said first of all, that was the first question. He said, So what is the work of Awe in Yoruba land? He said, from 1530 in Oye Empire, the Awe in Yoruba land is meant he has the duty, the obligation, the responsibility to fight wars in the land, to defend the territory of the land. So that is the duty of an Awe. He said that some people are insulting him that he's not doing anything for Yoruba people. And that is not true. You know, I usually say this, that work is being done on the ground for this fight for Yoruba nation. So people that you see that might, might not be working, you know, might, might not, you might not be seeing their work. Some are being done on the ground. And I will mention something before the end of this video. He said that he's just an Awe. Oh, that is not. He's just an Awe. He said the Oba and the Oni they are greater than him. So we should stop looking at him. You know, stop putting all the responsibility that he only has. He just give us his own responsibility. That people should stop putting everything on him. He said his duty and obligation to Yoruba land is to defend the integrity of the people. And that is all. And for ever since they made him the aware of your land, he has been trying his best to do so. He said a criminal would not want to hear the truth. So people have been coming, you know, telling him, sending him messages that and he's lying, he's shaking in coins, they have been insulting him. He said he's saying the truth, but any criminal that we know would never want to hear the truth. He said some people have been paid some amount of money to abuse you by the traitors speaking the truth. And that is that is a fact. Amidst us, eh? Some there are some Yorubas amidst the Yoruba people, the Yoruba nation, that are traitors, that have been paid by I don't know politicians, the government, you know, to, to, to scatter everything. They might hide, I think they can you know, disguise very well. So we have to be sensitive. He told the Yoruba people to be very sensitive because there are some people amongst us. They are Yoruba, so not that they are Igbos or Fulanis. So. Although we have Igbos and Fulanis, but he said there are some Yoruba that are traitors amongst us. See, and these people are Yoruba. He said we need to tread wisely in this fight for self determination. He said we need to tread, um, tread wisely because the government can declare anybody unwanted. That if anybody eh, is doing, uh, he's shaking it, uh, calling shut up, say, eh, I will fight the government, I will do this thing. Ah, I will need to tread wisely, oh, tread wisely, like the serpent, tread wisely. So that the government is not going to declare anybody wanted. But that's why some people, Professor Banja, Kito, some people, they left, they have to go into exile because the, the way they you know they were, how will I put it? I'm not saying they are not doing well, but they are really doing well. But it was too very, very obvious. The government had to, you know, start looking for them the same way they look for Chief Sunday Bo and went to his house to, you know, destroy his property. Thank God that he escaped. So people need to be need to tread wisely, tread cautiously in this fight. So they will not go and destroy somebody's family. 
please that was i was begging he said do you know that up more than 15 people have been to him to plead that he should support yoruba politicians and he has said no and people are saying that he's not supporting yoruba nation and he's collecting money from government that does it, that do we know is He's asking Yoruba's question. Those people that are saying that uh, he's not supporting Yoruba, do, that, do we know that what, up to like 15 people have come to me and said that, oh, you support this Yoruba politician, or oh, you support this one, or oh, support this one. He said no, that he's not going to support them. So it's not really everything that we see in the surface that we should carry on our head. There are things going on the ground that we don't know. So some people that are they are supporting Yoruba nation, they open their mouth everywhere, social media, they are supporting them, but on the ground, they are traitors. Why there are some people on the ground, they are you know, doing the little they can do. Everybody, you have to do the little they can do. Nobody will kill themselves. They have to do the little they can do. And why up? They are not doing anything. So don't judge the book by its cover. That's what, is, that's what Ghani Adams is saying today in the interview. He said that some people are asking for a referendum. And we all know that a referendum is kind of like an election. The election should be done in Nigeria. To see if some people support the Yoruba people to leave Nigeria. He said, but this is this will not really work when we don't have international backup. He gave the example, he gave two examples of Scotland. He said, Scotland has done to referendum to be independent of United Kingdom, but they have always failed. He said, You know why? Because other countries in the world did not support their independence so even if they leave united kingdom and you know go out on their own other countries will not support them even the united nations will not support them so that's why those people have failed he gave another example catalonians and in last week professor banji akinto also gave this example the catalonians he said they did refer them it was okay but when they went to court the court ruled against them and then when the international bodies wanted to support them, he said, no, but the court has ruled against this. So he said, the urban nation, if we really want to have this fight, then we need to have start having international backups. One, two, three, as many as possible. We need to be recognized internationally. And if we don't do this, when Nigeria, when the government of Nigeria say, no, we're not giving, we're not letting you leave Nigeria, and you forcefully leave, who will back you up? That was a question he was asking in the video. He says some of us are clamoring for a referendum. The, the Fulanists know that when you go to the highest court with the result of the referendum, you will lose because the villa, that means Asawok, controls the Supreme Court. And we know that Asawok, there are more Fulanists there than Yorubas or Ibus. So he said that they will lose. He said, fight that should have taken two years. If the Yorubas are not careful, it will take seven years. He said, not all those that talk about the Yoruba nation love the Yoruba nation. He said, about 70% of those people that are saying they love the Yoruba nation, that are saying it on social media, they are being paid to implicate the Yoruba people. He said, some days ago, he had a chat with Professor Banja Kintoe and Sunday Go, and these people, they are in um, Benin Republic. He said, it was based on the topic of unity among the Yoruba people. It was a conference call. He could not go over to meet them and have this a um, face-to-face chat with them because people have spoiled his name um people have spoiled him in front of sunday go and professor banja came to you this is not supposed to be so he said everybody has a role to play he has a role to play as aware of yoruba land chief sunday go has a role to play so Banji akin to Hollywood and all the rules are different. Everybody has their own capacity. So don't compare anybody. Everybody are doing their own differently. So he said people stop comparing, stop you know speaking evil about some other person that no, it is not good. He said the meaning of self-determination for Yoruba nation is greater than the noise people are making on social media. He said people want him to play into the hands of the of the federal government. And people are pushing him, pushing him, pushing him. But when he's declared wanted, nobody will come and help him. All. So this fight must might take long, but will surely happen. He was asked a question that some people are saying that he has got all the power to stand up and fight against the government. That the government have no power against him. And he said, 
in as much as one is still under the sovereignty of a government of a nation that person is always under that government and the government can capture the person anytime they get the person wanted so except the person is a warlord that oh, you have gone swallow go very well that's when the person can escape so he said please you are out there you don't know what is happening on the ground stop insulting people so stop assuming things about people stop coming on social media and be insulting your bad dictators you don't know how they have been fighting some are doing their own on the ground some people are doing their own on the surface so please let's be guided what do you feel about what is happening about what the hour of urban land Ghani adam said what is your take on it let me hear this in the comment section i'll be waiting for your reply please don't forget to like this video channel and for those who have not subscribed please click on the word button and subscribe to get more of this curiousness about the yoruba people thank you so much for your time thank you so much for listening same time in this youtube channel you're welcome